Albany. First of two matchups here in Corvallis today. The three from Buckley is with you here in Corvallis. Texas A&M and Nebraska will be the next matchup. Loetta drains it. First, uh, pass first guard, uh, she facilitates the offense, but that right there is exactly what she needs to do. Be more aggressive. Semi-final loss in the Pac-12 tournament to Stanford. Pull up from Loetta, back to back. There to the nail, that is nasty. Tamia Gardner, Pac-12 sixth. She's just got such a strong body. You really got to do your work early and block her out. Low hacked away from Reese, and back comes Eastern Washington. Pettis at the controls. Pettis on the pull up. So far, Beers still with all the points for Oregon State. Fading and getting that to rattle. Loetta, the Big Sky Player of the Year, perusing. Glimpse here and there, but for the most part, it has been incredibly consistent. The chemistry has been impeccable. Oh, what an up and under! Floor getting steals and then making circus shots on the other end. Quick answer. And put on for her country. Her family traveled all the way from the Czech Republic for this one. Loetta, the Oregon State head coach, coached against her, so he's seen her before, knows how much of a problem she can be. Quick feed and Martin. Second round here in Corvallis. Loetta again, same result. Too easy for Loetta. Loetta has 11 of the first 18 for Eastern Washington. Prova, much needed for a tournament since 1987. Unfazed right now. A pump fit from Loetta. Came up just short. That was ridiculous. Shot clock at six, game clock 10 seconds. Because they've had a few turnovers early. And the basketball, and let's get it in the beers. Loetta, the other players in double figures for Eastern Washington. Leah Alexander, 81 starts in 82 games. Gardner down to beers. Those two came in to Oregon. Von Olhoffen able to settle that down. Lobs it up so high to Beers, but you can do that. Shot clock at four for Loetta. Tough shot. Strong. No matter if you're on the perimeter or if you're a post in the paint right there, you always got to be right. Beers whips it out. Parova, she's a good three-point shooter. Finding uh, players on the perimeter that can connect and hit from three. Listen to this Gil Coliseum crowd. Alexander... Two-woman game, she'll whip it out. Gardner Perova, different corner, around and out. Nearly that ball around. 24 and seven this season. This is what we've seen them do all year. Gardner, contested. One of the best three-point shooters on this squad. Perova, the birthday girl, with a birthday bucket. For public. The team circled up after shoot around and each said a word about how they feel about Dominica. Millie Knowles, 60-year player for the Eagles, came up Eastern Washington. Practically the same team, back-to-back -back years, just one new player. Down low, Beers, a bucket. And now back come the Beavers. Parova, that's her shot. Wide open, you can't. Fan out to the shooter. Parova and Beers have combined for 27 in this first half for Oregon State. Beers got the early positioning. I could see you shaking. She's got the size advantage, but when you see the way she just goes in there and gets position, it is money. It is lethal. Early points. Parova, her second steal. Out and running. Shovels it off to Von Olhoffen, who gets an easy do. Aliyah Alexander hit one out. Down 13, largest lead for the Beavers. One-legged fade, and the roll could it before the commercial break, so we'll keep an eye on her status. Alexander off the mark. It matters, but it really doesn't. You can't, you always have to respect your opponent, but the parity in women's basketball can be any more. Was a really good look, though, that time for Jadia Martin, who's knocked down one today. Had the reload opportunity. Drought of a little over three minutes. Final half minute of this opening half. Wrap around feed. Beers back. Martin into the lane, into the teeth of the defense, but getting of the opening half for the Beavers. Nice give and go there. Von Olhoffen step back, came up short. 
Aliyah Alexander, that would have been a long two. Texas A&M and Nebraska will follow this one here on ESPNU. That's a six versus 11. Here the 14 seed Eastern Washington. Lawrence checks out for Eastern Washington, her third foul. You mentioned Gardner and began doing that when Reagan Beers went down with the nose injury. Beers back. Crowd not liking the contact. Eastern Washington, nonetheless, able to come up short. The question mark. And that's a great question, and that's the way they got to do. They got to continue to get stops in the board, maximize. Hunter, the freshman again for this stage. They wanted to get back to, didn't make the NCAA tournament last year. Von Hoffman rains down the through there. Bit of a miscommunication. Leads to Oregon State having a chance to run out here. A pirouette in the paint, didn't lead to. Transition triple straight away, short. They're pretty good with that. Not easy though. They've got other family members here today. Into the corner, they would love to see that three go down. A lot of players from as close as 20 minutes away from campus. Oh, what a flyby there. Hansford right now for the Beavers. Perova celebrating a birthday today. She's also another hard guard and can create mismatches off the perimeter. For the first time tonight, they can get the job done inside and out. A lot of players who came back from last year. Jamie. She has over half of their points. Gardner, high hop. Jackson State and Caitlin Clark leads Iowa against Holy Cross. And ESPN had all games are also available on the ESPN app. Nice feed down low. Pretty possession. Will it turn into two? It will. Oregon State's depth on display. Late stages, third quarter. Reese, she can stretch the floor. Oh! Mark is absolutely dangerous. The bench, how dynamic the Beavers are. Bench points have been big time for Oregon State this season. Key, everybody's ready when their number is called. And the teams with depth and those players that can come in and get it done, those are teams like Arizona State really helped out J.D. Martin. And now the Eagles can move again. Speaking of Loetta, it was lefty that time. And they're going to have to continue to dictate that tempo. You can't take your foot off the gas when it comes to the Eagles. Down all around, just collective strength of this Oregon State team on display. Gardner ripped down in the southern part of the state. Not sure how she found Gardner there, but did. And she found Van Ohoppen. Tapped out. see Reese, one of the new players for Oregon State. It is absolutely no problem. They've been in this before. Beard talked about with the nose and grief. They're still a her sophomore partner in crime, but hoping her good friend is okay. Alexander. Such a great person off the floor as well. Dynamic personality. Gardner, I mentioned. Reese the rebound. Gardner leaking out, easy bucket. Their money. Very much a contrast of styles. So again, that one coming up next on ESPNU. Alexander a bit short on the three, showing her nose. Donovan Hunter dazzling this crowd of her handles in the corner. Reese can. Five, you got both posts with Reese and Gardner that can step out and hit from beyond the arc. Alexander. A strong rebound from Martin, tapped out of last season, won 13 games. This year, 10 plus win visioning you get in here yet, but you got to put in the work to get here. Absolutely, and they've. This Eastern Washington team has prided themselves on their chemistry. Loet 90 NCAA championships. 6 5 and have the clear eye advantage. That time, the three goes. Luckily, is a player that Jody Gleason calls her secret sauce throughout the course of what's been a spectacular year for the Eagles. Transition triple. Nice board from Buckley. In this game, this NCAA tournament game that she played a pivotal role in guiding them to the Big Sky player, Jordan. Hey. 
Leah Alexander opening the day. Got her team out to an eight-point lead. Oregon State going to lock up a ticket for Sunday in the second round. Oh, a dicey move. They also get Corey Wilcox in, the redshirt freshman, another Washington native. And they're dancing again this year, and they're going to dance into the second round. For the Beavers, in front of their sold-out home crowd here in Corval. Senior. Eastern Played with so much fight. 87, but it's Oregon State coming out on top, 73 to 51. Once again, final score, 73-51. Producer David Feldman, director Jason Moon are standing.